Hi, my name is Jason Morgan. I'm a wildlife artist. Welcome to my studio and also my YouTube channel. And today we're going to specifically look at coloured white pencils and how they perform on black paper. Now I know a lot of you have actually seen me do some drawings recently, white on black, and you've been asking what pencils I use, what paper I use, and all that type of thing. Now there's lots of white pencils out there. I've picked about six of the top ones and I'm going to experiment with them and show you which I think are the best and the reasons why. So let's take a look. Okay, so I've got six coloured pencils, six white coloured pencils. And the paper I'm using is Strathmore Black. Now, it's important when you're judging the white of the pencil as well to know that the black of the paper really makes a difference because this is a cheap black paper. And you can see that's really more of a dark grey and to make those whites look really white obviously the darker the paper the blacker the paper the better so that's what I'm using Strathmore Black so the pencils we've got they're all the top ones and I've got quite a range there so I've got Caran d'Ache Luminance at the top so that's very light fast and that's they claim it's the most light fast pencil white pencil ever next down I got Faber Castell Albert Drua or Dura and it's 8200101 that's a water watercolour pencil but I've all, tried all different types so we get a good view of them then we've got the Derwent draw in white so that's Chinese white 7200 another Faber Castell Polychromos so that's quite a popular one that's also classed as maximum light fastness Derwent Graphitint, Tint, so that's a new pencil I've just received, so I thought I'd pop that in there as well. Light fast rate of 6, that's a water soluble, which you can usually tell by the little brush mark. Different companies use different things. And then the other one I had in my collection, Charisma Colour, and that's White 938. Now I think they stopped making this quite a few years ago, but it's something I had there that was white anyway. I think now it's more Prisma Colour. So that's the pencils I've got. And as far as light fastness, they're all regarded as light fast. Different companies are using different ratings. So as long as it says light fast, a good light fast, I'm not really too bothered. So I'll start off with this Luminance 6901. And I've sharpened them all to a real fine sharpness, a real point. And the reason I've done that is to also judge just how hard the the lead or how, how it resists breaking really because some of these break very easily now not only do you want the white to be able to go very white sometimes you want it to be able to do a real full range as well so go from barely visible on the paper and then apply in more pressure and you see the angle I'm holding the pencil it's about 45 degrees and I'll go over it and I'll see how white I can get it and I'm really pushing hard there now and it's not breaking but it is building up in whiteness and you can see I've still got a good good amount of lead there okay so that's the luminance I'll leave that there next down is the Faber Castell and this is this is very distinctive it's, it's quite um, rather than a round it's more of a hexagonal or something like that so let's try this one as well starting off really finely that's about as light a mark as I can make on the old the pencil like this see so it's barely visible then I'll go harder and harder and then I'll push as hard as I can so that's quite white too not as opaque as this one you can see if I put a little bit of a mark underneath you can see it's not quite as opaque but once again the sharpness has stayed there quite well so if you're doing fur marks little tiny details that's another good pencil but not quite as white okay do went draw in Chinese white now I've used this in the past and it is very white it's a softer lead a softer point and you can see that because it's softer I can't I've got to really just brush the paper to get it to go fine if I'm using normal pressure it's quite white already the softness means the point goes quite quickly 
I'll just push a little bit harder. You can see it is whiter. The problem with this one, if you go too hard, it is prone to snapping. So if you're trying to do very fine marks, and I wasn't pushing that hard, it is prone to snapping. But it's very white, as you can see. So you just got to be very careful with it. And sometimes I found that if you use a little bit of sandpaper on a, on a little block, see if I can get one. You can buy these just about anywhere. And if you draw it along first one side, then the other side, shallow angle, so you get the point more like that. I found then that it's less prone to break in. Yeah, so you can get the fine marks and the point lasts longer. It'll still break but it is less prone if you do that. Okay, the other Faber Castell, Polychromos, expensive pencil. So I'm going very lightly there. Now I'll push harder. Harder still, really building it up. So it's amazing that I can push that hard on a lead or a pencil top that's been sharpened that much and it's still not breaking. So it's really, really durable. And look at the fine lines I can get. And it's still not breaking. And it lasts a long, long time. It's not quite as white as some of the as perhaps the duo went. If I put them side by side, that's when it's a bit more apparent. On its own, it looks very white. But possibly the luminance, which holds up well, you can push hard on that, and the duo went are whiter, more opaque. Okay, this is an unusual one, graphite tint, so it's light fast. It's part of the graphite tint set by Derwent. It's just something I'd received, so I thought I'd pop that in as well. Haven't used it on a drawing. Light fastness rating of six. So not as smooth as the other pencils. Let's see how white it goes. Broke again. Wasn't pushing very hard on it. Now this is advertised as a water colour pencil, so it's supposed to be used really with um, water technique, so you could put a brush into this as well. So I'm not expecting it to stand up like the others for this purpose, but I thought I'd give it a go. It's still useful. Put them up there. The Charisma colour. So I'm pretty sure this is a, I think this is a watercolour pencil as well. I'm not 100% sure, but like I said, I think it's been discontinued. The whole range. Which is a shame because it's holding up well and it's going pretty white. Oh, spoke too soon. It's funny how some of these pencils, they seem to see, or well, they seem to have some sort of a, a fracture built into the lead and it, once it goes, see it's okay again now to push quite hard, but that went and split along the length of the lead. So there you go. So, the majority, the luminance, the Derwent, they all pretty much, if you wasn't judging them by each other, by the side of each other, they all pretty much give a very similar whiteness. The benefits for me though would be the ones that don't break. So then we're talking Polychromos and the Luminance and this Faber Castell as well. Whereas the ones that are prone to break in is this one. That one do went this one, which I'm not surprised. 
this one is prone to break in could be there as well so separate those off so sometimes you want to go back over the top of them so say you've got an area that you've drawn on and you want to put a black line or a stripe back in there so I've got two black pencils in my kit because charcoal won't really work that well I've got the Charisma Colour Black and I've got this Faber-Castell Black as well so I just wanted to see if you could actually create a nice dark mark over each of these so I'll clean the end because you can see for instance this one is going much darker than that one I don't know why but obviously there's different composition in the ones that are water soluble compared to wax based and oil based as well so if I create some people would want to use them with water as well now rather than just look through all the websites because not all of them this one has got the, the brush mark on there not all of them will have on there I'll just put some white down I've got a brush with some water on and I can give that a go and we can see quite quickly which ones are water soluble that's got the feel of a charcoal to it this graphite tint polychromos and then the charisma colour white <laughs> okay so just dip that in some water some of these are not meant to be water soluble if they're wax based or oil based obviously they won't be water soluble at all and some of them are meant to be like that so you could get different effects and the Chinese white is not and the Rizax has wax, wax lead graphite tint is very water soluble and the Charisma colour waterproof so you can see those two are the water soluble ones now sometimes you want to erase the lines the whites now the thing with white is it doesn't erase well at all my usual eraser is a putty eraser like this but you can see it's different than graphite it's really difficult to erase some of the line, these lines you can see it'll clean up a little bit so it's making the paper look cleaner but it's so difficult to get them back off of black paper you can see why you need to build from a very light underdrawing and then build up to your brightest whites because it's difficult to remove especially when it really pushed into the paper you see I can pretty much go over all those and they're not coming off with that the problem with a white eraser it can leave some lines leave some marks on the paper so a little while ago somebody recommended this Faber-Castell dust free eraser which just so happened to be black as well and I thought I wonder if that would work on these so you can see with some pressure it's not affecting the paper but you do have a chance of getting some of the marks reduced so if you wanted to take the tone back a little bit you've, you've got a possibility of reducing it a bit it's never going to get rid of those marks completely but this black eraser does seem to be really good for this type of effect so the ones I'm using myself at the moment are 
the luminance, the Faber Castell, and the Polychromos. And I find those three very similar, really very similar. And then I reserve the the lightest lights. Then I go in with the the Derwent Chinese white, really carefully with a sharp chiselled point on it. So I find any of these three. I'll use any of those. I don't find much difference at all in them. They're all really good, nice and bright, nice and opaque, opaque white. They all hold their points, and you can get a nice um, light shade with those as well, which is a little bit more difficult with the Derwent. And then the Durant comes in for those finishing touches. The brightest whites, if you find the pencils not getting it quite white enough for you, perhaps you could then come in finally with some um, gouache or some white acrylic just to punch those final whites up. So I hope you've enjoyed this little experiment. And if you want to see these pencils in action, I've got a video on YouTube and I've also got a, a full length video where you can see me draw in a leopard in real fine detail. Hope you've enjoyed that video and if so I got lots more on my YouTube channel and don't forget the only way not to miss out on any new videos is to click the subscribe button. On my website I've got full length feature videos, I've got reference photo CDs and ebooks and also the new Easy Trace Line Art tool. So hope to see you either on my YouTube or my website jasonmorgan.co.uk. See you all again real soon.